But I'm such a New Yorker. Right. Once every the business was done, I'm like, I'm going back home. I don't. I'm not comfortable here. I don't know anybody. I went back home. So I came back out the next year for pilot season. Stayed for the whole pilot season. Didn't get anything. Went back home. Came out the next pilot season. Booked the pilot. It didn't get picked up, but I made a shitload of money. You know, when you get a, when you book a pilot, they the check sure, like sure, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Sure. Took that. Went back home. Came back the next year. All of us. And I can see that because you were too New York. When I knew you, when I saw them for the city, yeah. you know, I could feel like yeah. you got to, again, now it's different, you know, but yeah, yeah, when you no, first no. came out, you know, I'm first like, came out. I'm a subway guy. I'm a subway yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can I'm tell. I'm walk to the corner, get a yeah. juice and stand yeah. on the corner and talk to people and get a newspaper and I couldn't do none of that here. Right. Plus, I didn't know anybody. So I'm like, I want to go back home. Right. I right. never, LA was never the goal. I never envisioned like, and then I'm going to move to LA. Right. And I'm going to get a house and I'm going to be, I n- that was never the goal. Wow. But God is like, you, you tell me what your goal is and I'll just laugh at it because right. I got a plan for you. And it's not like you want to follow your brother's footsteps right. and say, I right. want to do this, 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 right. this? No. Well, at, at one point early on, SNL was a goal. Right. SNL was a dream okay. sure. because of Eddie. Okay. Because of Eddie. We watched S- We would run, to, everybody in here would run sure. to the TV Come every on, Saturday man. night and watch Come Eddie. Come on now, yeah. So that was a goal. Right. But then once I got a little older, it was like, okay, sketch comedy is like a young man game. The guys that are getting it are like 17, 18. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm probably not going to get it. Plus, they probably are not going to look at me, you know, give me a real chance to get it because of my brother. Oh, really? Is he really going to be, We gonna? is lightning going to really strike twice? So I probably wouldn't get that nod that wow. he got. Okay. That so once sense. I realized, like, ah, I'm probably not going to get SNL, then that was like, the rest of that was like, okay, every goal going on, going It'll forward, be solo. is going to be my goal. Right, solo. You know I feel you. Not I, something that somebody else had that I was inspired by. I, I, no, I respect, I respect that. All right, so you get here and you do All of Us. That's with uh, Dwayne Martin and... Uh, Dwayne Martin, Lisa Ray, Lisa Ray. Griffin... Uh, James Nordaliva, Terry J. Vaughn, Elise Neal. Damn. Everybody in the cast had been on something before right, that. Right. Everybody in the cast was like, I saw him in this, I saw her in that. Right. I even saw the little baby in Daddy Daycare. I was the only right. in the whole cast that had never been on anything. Right. So I was like, oh, this is really real. How long, how many seasons y'all do that? Four, Three? Four, four seasons. Yeah. But let me tell you what I heard. Please do. I had a friend of mine that was. A writer on the show, or or bump a little young writer. <laughs> oh, it might be good, it might be bad. Go. He said they had to take you off the lot, damn it, put it to another another <laughs> place because y'all was too rowdy. Am I? Is he lying on? He said they can now you work on the same lot. They had to move y'all to another section to do your show. They moved us. See, look, see, look, look, look. I, I told oh, you. I heard, they, I heard. They moved us to a different <laughs> lot every season. Oh damn! Season one, we were uh, CBS Radford. Right, right. Then I get the phone call like, I'm, and then season once the season's over, I'm back in New York. Okay, I'm on the road and I'm in New York, and I get a phone call. Hey, you guys got picked up for season two. I come back to LA for season two. You guys are at Universal. See, season wraps. I go on tour, come back for season three. You guys are at Warner Brothers. I'm like, damn, they keep moving. They moved us every year. They had to. Young was rowdy on that. My, my, the friend of mine, he was kind of more square brother. He's like, yeah. oh my god. Crazy on over there. You know, Yo, like, season what? one, we was really off the chain. Uh, was that what? Season one, we would race the golf carts. You know, the golf oh, yeah, carts yeah, sure, a lot. Sure. And one time I almost hit Bernie Mac's wife. Oh, may, may right. Bernie Mac, may he rest in peace. Right. But Bernie Mac taped on the same lot. And I'm oh. racing the golf cart around the lot and turn the corner. And his wife is like walking and I almost hit her. And Bernie was straight Chicago. If you would have hit my wife, I'd been on board. I don't know who you is. I'd knock your head up. Right. And I was like, I was wrong. They said, let's get these Negroes to another place, yeah. another, yeah. another set. They yeah, yeah. every season. Yeah. Wow, wow. Still one of the highlights of my career, yes. Still one of the highlights of my career. The show or getting moved? No, the show. Oh, oh. <laughs> auditioning for it, right. getting the part, right. working right. with that cast. Right. It was definitely a blessing. Yeah, no, no, you did. I, I was, you know, I, I'm out here. I'm trying to get my too. I'm like, damn, this boy just come out here and get it right away. Like, yeah, damn. It was, it was of course, you know, I'm a hater. I'm thinking Chris got you. No, no, no. That's Grand Rock Rubber. I don't know. He got it. Grand Rock Rubber. You know how that is. But no, um, let's do it. Okay, so after that, because you got a lot of stuff, and you got a lot of stuff with white folks. After uh, all of us? That was the last black thing you did, because you got some nah, white shows. Nah, nah, nah. I, no? I hosted Apollo. That's the, don't give oh, a black okay, in the Okay, okay. I meant acting like TV show wise. Okay, yeah. I yeah. Did, no, I did Three Can Play That Game. That was uh, that was black. We, should, we shot that in Atlanta. Three Can Play Okay. I thought that was a, mo- that was a movie. Yeah. It was a movie. Okay, a movie. Yeah. Okay, a movie. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Will Packer did that. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, ho- you hosted Apollo. I hosted Apollo. That's big. Yeah, I don't even remember that, but I'm saying it was, they had called it Apollo Live. Remember, they brought it back and called it Apollo Live. I did two seasons of that. That would be after who? Who was hosting it before? Rudy uh, Rush? I think, yeah, it was after. Might have been after. Rudy Rush. Rudy, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, the, you know how that happened? Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like every good thing in my career has happened for me staying on stage. That's why another reason why I'm on stage a lot. Like, you go to the Laugh Factory any now. given night. I see you. Tuesday night, eleven o'clock. I'm sitting up in there. 
Right. It ain't nobody else that has this many TV credits and this IMDb or whatever. On a Tuesday like night. Me, sitting, like me, Tuesday sitting night. in the club on Tuesday night. You know why? Most of the good that has happened in my career has happened from me just staying on stage. I like that. That's real. I, I was at the Laugh Factory one night. Jamie Foxx walks in with King, Marcus uh, King, Marcus King mm -hmm, and they sit upstairs. I don't even know they in the room. And I go up stage, I go on stage and uh, somebody says something in the room and I'm doing crowd work. I'm just being funny with what's going on in the room. And Jamie calls me the next day and is like, yo, come to my house. I'm going to talk to you about something. And I'm like, all right, well, send me the address. This is funny. Jamie's like, send me the, I said, send me the address. Jamie goes, you never been to my house? I know that's right. Everybody like, no, been my, no. for the party. He's like, all the parties I throw mm -hmm. and all the stuff I do at the house, you never been to my house? I'm like, no. How come you never been to my house? I say, because I'm in Brooklyn. We don't go to nobody's house unless that man invite me to the house. Oh, wow. I'm not going because somebody else said let's come go to your on. house because now I'm walking around your house that you don't know is there. Every That's fight, real. every fight, That's every real. every major heavyweight fight, everybody's like, let's go to Eddie Murphy's house. Right. I'm like, yeah, when Eddie called me, I'll go. Right, right. I'm not walking around Eddie Murphy's house and he like, who the f invited this to? You're not even me so much. Yeah, like, I, that, I, that just, and that's my gift and my curse. My gift and my curse is I don't care what nobody else is doing. That's my gift. Right. I don't care what nobody else right, is doing. Right, I'm not you. caught up in what you're doing. I'm not trying to do what you're doing just because it's hot for you. My curse is I don't care what anybody else is doing. I should be aware of what's going on around me with my peers and my contemporaries because right. it might be something that I could really benefit from. But you know, it's funny. I have that same attitude, but you arrogant, you stand off. It's like, no, it's just I'm both of those. Right, right. Well, I, damn, I love it. I'm both of those. Right, right. Yeah. But, I, but, I, but I'm like, no, just, if you invite me, I come. Yeah, so I don't you you got to invite me. Invite me to the house. I go to the house and he's like, yo, I'm bringing Apollo back. And I'm sitting in the house like, Jamie Foxx got an Oscar. Why would he host uh, Apollo? Host Apollo, you funny. And yeah. he's like, yeah, so, you know, we're going to bring it back. We're going to call it Apollo Live. And I'm like, why would he host that's right not, that don't even seem like a lateral move for jamie fox right sure and he goes yeah so and i figured since you were a new yorker you know and i'm like oh wait i'm gonna host it right, right. and he's like yeah gave me the job because he right. saw me on stage right that's why i stay in the comedy clubs no i like that you know i feel like with us it's almost like that if you if you're on stage but you could be even you could be somewhere at a party sometimes and should pop off like yo right i'm trying to reach you right you my right, video right, i want you right, my movie right, where you been at like right. Yeah, that's why it's my curse nigga. because yeah. movie premieres I'm like man if I ain't invited yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like yeah, anybody yeah. send me no invite like I right. see people on IG like yo you going I'm like right. ain't nobody call me man right. but like you said I could have been walking I could have walked right past you know yeah, a director man. it's like yeah. oh I went to see my brother at the forum uh, a couple months ago uh -huh. and Kenya Barris walked in and I, I, I really Kenya Barris he does really really yeah, great like quality yeah. stuff no, dope. and uh, I would see him all the time at Clippers games and we would always just be like you know he was like a couple seats away from me like yo what up boy what's good never bothered him just yo what's up and I saw him at the forum for my brother's show and he was like yo what are you working on mm -hmm. and I'm like oh I got a script that's circulating right now and it's doing really well it's getting some traction and I'm about to shoot my special and he was like oh alright well let me know what's going on with you man like keep, keep, keep me abreast of what's going on excuse me and I was like yeah I need to stop being so anti standoffish like right because I'm probably really missing out on a lot of opportunities. But a lot of times, say they don't mean they don't mean it. Sometimes. True, you're true. Like, that's you know, the thing. I don't like the fakeness. I don't like the uh, fakeness. Come on so, now. So, yeah. You so asked me to call you. I called that's you. That's why it's the gift and the curse. And that's why when you said Wednesday, 830, right. bet I'm there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's why I respect you came. Some people yeah. have told me, and then they, they flaked a little. Don't, don't, I'm like, nah, I got don't you. Answer. I'm, I'm like, like why, why you do that, bro? You ain't got to do that. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?